All right, all right, what's going on, everybody? Dark and Windy, back at it again with another video. We're back on my wiki, and we're continuing our journey through Kilo with Zable, the drowsing Pokemon. It's based off of Mr. Sandman. Bring me your dreams. So, it's sack like tail, holds sand that it can induce sleeping with one grain. Zable always feels tired, but his brain will allow it to sleep. <clears throat> and yet, I gave it insomnia. Yep, I'm, I torture it. So, yeah, it's based off of the Sandman, the stereotypical thing. Not much else to say. It's all, it's all right. Doesn't really have much else going for it. Especially with Dust Z, since it's just a bigger version of it. It just has a, a lump of sand that it lays on now. And, and oh, oh yeah, I just, I just realized. Uh, I just realized. <laughs> yep. The only way to evolve it... It's to level it up while it's asleep. And it has insomnia. So, your ass is going to have to be lucky and hope that you get one with Sand Touch. And sand, and about sand, sand Touch is an ability that I came up with. It's just an ability where when you, when it touch it, when it touches whenever it makes contact with you, there's a chance that you fall asleep. That's pretty much all it is. If, it to, if Zable or Dust, Dust Z hits you with an attack, there's a chance you fall asleep. It doesn't matter. That's it. Let's see. Its tail, which usually holds a lump of sand, can open and spill the sand out. But when it does, Dusty can, <clears throat> Dusty can help but lie on it. Its brain still won't allow it to sleep, so it is a torturous act as the sand is extremely comfortable. Yeah, I keep saying that it won't, the brain won't allow it to sleep, and yet it has more than one ability. Yeah, I'm weird like that. It'll probably change when I, uh, it'll probably change when I revamp these guys. Next up, we have Wallabound, the long tail Pokemon. Let's see, Wallabound is pretty cool. I really like how, it, like, it's a revamp, so I like how it turned out already. You already know, like, when it comes to my revamps, I'm automatically gonna like them a lot more than the originals. I just, it's just automatic. So, like here, let's see, we've got the twenty, the 2014, 2015 version. It's pretty much the like. They like they all have the pretty much the same pose and everything. <clears throat> yeah, they all pretty much have the same pose. It's just the artwork gets got the artwork just got better. Yeah, and I really like how wall this wallet bound came out most mostly because I guess the yellow eyes kind of has an accent adds an accent or adds something to it that just makes it better for me. Now, Wallabound's feet pose a hindrance to it as it always trips over them when walking, so it instead relies on bouncing on its tail to get around. Its large feet are strong enough to demolish solid concrete. Yep, it has cluts and it has scrappy. So, yeah. It's, based, it's just based on a wallaby and nope, y'all ain't getting this evolution right now. Y'all get this evolution later on at some point. Because next up we have Stelio, the bold Pokemon. Now, okay, so Stelio and Leo Blitter. I remember these guys because I made these guys in high school. Or I started something with these guys in high school because I was trying to figure stuff out for them. <clears throat> I used to bring my tablet and laptop to school to school a lot in high school because we I had art classes and stuff like that. And sometimes we had downtime and stuff. So I would usually just draw stuff at school. And people would either, people would either watch me or I would just be on my, in my own little world doing my own thing. So, yeah. Uh, Stelio is based off of those, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Nemean Lions. It's based off of, hold on, let me go to, yeah. The Nemean Lion, vicious, mon vicious monster, Greek mythology, lives in Nemea, killed by Heracles. It cannot be killed by a mortal's weapon because its golden fur was impervious to attack. Its, its claws were sharper than mortal's souls and could cut through any armor. Yep, 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 yep. So it is steel type because, and yet, hold on, it, 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 <clears throat> I'm stupid. It said golden fur and sharp claws, and yet there is no gold fur. And Leo Blitter has claws, but I don't think they're that sharp. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. Couldn't do anything, right? Their steel bodies are said to be unable to melt. These Pokemon are quick to f start fights when they're aboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on, Leo Blitter. Leo Blitter, the ferocious Pokemon. The metal inside of his mane helps it repel attacks that come from its that come towards its facial area. If these Pokemon are ever challenged, they will never back down, even if they're at a disadvantage. 
All right, so then, yeah, oh, hold on. They're no, yeah, these guys are normal and steel type. They're yes, they're quad weak to fighting types. Oh well, and yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna. You you guys can probably see it already, but uh, in case you didn't, if in case you can't. Oh my god. <sighs> so yeah. Okay, so this is the old. Yeah, I got someone. Yeah, I got this from DeviantArt. Uh, yeah, this is the original one. It it doesn't look that good at all. It just same old, same old. Big old beam body, thick thick legs and arms and stuff. Yeah, just everything wrong. And this is this and this is the this is the aftermath of and it has some of the same problems, except now it has Sogalio's mouth. You can't see it. Hold on, hold on. Just, just give me a second, cause I, I got, I got. That's where I got inspiration from. Yeah. You see it now. You see it. That's where I got it. That's where I got that from. So yeah, I need to change. Yeah, I, I definitely need to change, revamp these guys, cause oof. Uh, now we have Leafro, the fir the very first mon that I've ever created to be on DeviantArt. Leafro is Leafro used to be the start the original starter for Gen One, but I decided to just go with a different thing, and it ended up being demoted and put in Gen Two instead as a regular mon. I didn't I didn't really have I don't think I had it's I think I had his evolutions done and everything but i think i ended up just scrapping them and just doing frilly its evolution instead but yeah this this guy used to be the original starter for this whole thing but time but things changed the leaf on the, the leaf on each of their tails can release intense light they use their leaf frills to absorb sunlight in order to charge up and heal itself Yep, yep. As you can tell by the, by now, there's a lot of grammatical errors in these Pokédex entries and stuff like that. But I, I, I'm I'm not gonna fix them just yet until I until I revamp stuff. But yeah, th this guy used to be the, this guy used to be the starter. Yeah, <sighs> good times. I really like how it I really like how it is now, and its evolution is Frilleve. Still, oh yeah, they're ba they're both based on frill lizards and stuff. So yeah, uh, I really like Frill Eve too, cause how or unlike, unlike other ones, there the leaves and stuff of it, it feels it feels like this is how they would actually officially do them. But yeah, moving on, their frills absorb sunlight so quickly that they can in initiate a solar beam attack immediately. They charge at anything that angers them. So yeah, not yeah, not much I can say, not much else to say. Leaf Frill used to be the starter, and Frill Eve is just a new uh, was just a new evolution that I made because I decided to scrap the start the its other evolutions. I think. Next up, we got Slapless. Slapless is pretty much just an Oni Yeti, but on, yeah, just an electric Oni kind of thing. They rub their hands together in order to generate electricity. Whenever it snacks, smacks something, the recipient receives a high voltage shock. Yep. Scrappy or static? Yes, yes, yes. It has a re yes, yes. It's reminiscent. It's reminiscent of Elicate or whatever, but that but it's not them. It's not. It's really not. But I, I really like how that, how this guy turned out. May end up revamping them again just because. This feels right. It, now next up we got Punch Charge again. I know it seems reminiscent, but it's not. Its punches can disintegrate to. <clears throat> its punches can disintegrate a small building. It absorbs electricity through its horns and spikes on its arms. Punch charge, punch Pokemon. It looks good. Got got that mustache on him, the mouth and everything. I really like how I really like how it turned out. Like this is like this style that I had at this point. It was all right, but it had some problems. <clears throat> I think this is when I was using side two, or trying to use side two, for stuff. But it's it's okay. I'll, I'll end up revamping it eventually, but it's okay. Next up, we got Sawi, Stinger Pokemon. It's based off of a, a Knife Fly. I think I think that was what it's called. Soft Fly, Soft Fly. 
knife lies the evolution. I just I just put two and two together and thought, yeah, it's based off a soft lie. So let's see. Yep. Yeah, it looks nothing. Yep, looks nothing like them. But I don't know. Yep, looks nothing like them. Just like I thought. Yeah. It gives the impression of having two heads when it, it is up with is on all four of its legs. They they poke and stab fruits, inject them with injecting them with poison as they eat it. Oh yeah, so these guys will like they will stab them they will stab their noses or heads into fruits and stuff like that, poison them, and then when you and then when other Pokemon or humans decide to eat them, they get poisoned. Yeah, pretty much that's pretty much them. They're assholes. Next up we got Sharpod. The Sting still is a Sting Pokemon. It has like a propeller. It has like propeller uh things on its on its chest. Its eyes are weird. It's it's just pretty much like a football shape again. Just very, very weird and very, very oof. Am I got and and this was the original one. Pretty much trying to be Kakuna so damn bad. Because Kakuna used to have the arms on his on his body, but they don't show him anymore. But yeah. Their claws release a potent toxin that can cause paralysis. They they can rotate their claws in the opposite directions like propeller blades. Yep. That's what they're doing. Next up we have Knife Fly. Knife Fly, the Sting Pokemon. Now I actually like I can actually kinda like how Knife Fly came out just because of how pointy it is compared to most stuff that I've done, which is mostly round. But at the same time, I can acknowledge the faults. Like the eye looks awkward. Like the, the antenna I just copy and pasted. Like a lot of stuff just looks weird, and uh, like the arms are copy and pasted. Like a lot of stuff just just felt weird and just not right. They release a deadly poison that can kill in one minute. Well, damn. <sighs> so I was just so full of edge. They fly in silence and strike when they feel threatened. Yeah. That works. That can work. But yeah, like I said, this is based off of a soft fly, and yeah, not looking much like a soft fly to me. Not looking much like a soft fly. But whatever. Next up, we have Terra of. I think. Hold on. Am I, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, I think Terra was gonna be a, a starter too. I'm not sure though. I can't like it was. This was years ago, but. Yeah, I think Terra was going to be a starter too at some point. <clears throat> it flies over gardens and fields, scattering spores from its wings to help the plants grow. They enjoy planting flowers and have a euphoric feeling after their balloon. Yeah, I like how Terra looks because I remember revamping it when I was in college. Uh, I just really like it. And like I said before, I, li I like my revamps. Well, majority of them anyway. Alright, so... This was let's let's look at these old ones. This was the original one. You can see the mark on it since I they're pretty much quote unquote lost the media or whatever since I can use I, I like I said before I used to replace them a lot instead of just updating or just adding the the updated ones. So whatever. But yeah, this is the uh older one. <sighs> same old same old problems. Bean body, heads all together. The wings are just generic and bad. Thick legs and limbs and stuff. Then we have this this version, which is a lot, which was a lot, lot better. The like, the body the body isn't as bad as it was. Well, as that isn't that samey, and the wings are stuff look better. The feet are like this, which are good because it's it's something different. And I just like it more because. It's just, you can just tell that there's more to it. it just, or just feels like there's more to it compared to that. Which is why this pose ended up staying the same. And all I did was update the artwork for it. All I did was update the artwork. I straightened up the leaves a little bit. Added some stuff to the eyes. Other than that, other than that, they're, they're pretty much the same. Other than that, they are pretty much the same. So next up we have 
Dactyl, which I think is also the garden Pokemon. Yep. Their leafy wings contain spores that allow them to grow plants easily. They do not need to eat and instead photosynthesize using their tails to create food from themselves. Yep, they're cool. I really like I really like Dactyls too. So let's see. Well, hold on. Whoop. Nah, it's alright. It's alright. Alright, let's go to Dactyl's older stuff. Oh, oh my god, going back. Man, going back to these. Ooh. I know y'all are probably tired of hearing me say it, but mm, going back to these kind of hurt. All right, let's, let's go. This was the original one. It was just pretty much a bigger version of Tarot. Still got the same problems. The body was still like that. I don't know what the hell was going on with this tail, especially with the highlights and the shading and stuff like that. I, wanted to, I was trying to do like the Torterra stuff. But I failed miserably. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this leg. Uh, the wings are still weird. The Again, the shading and highlights are weird. Just, ugh. Then we got this one, which I don't even know what to say about it. Because, like, it looks better than the first one. But at the same time, it's just, ugh. It just looks awkward, weird. Like, I can't, I can't really find the right words. Like, it's okay, but it's not great. It's, ugh. And then we got, like, compared to these, yeah, like, the color, I kept the colors, but I kept the colors and I changed the yellow. I made it, I, I made it ten times better. Like, the limbs are no longer as, the, well, the arms are no longer as thick. I made the wings better. The leaves on around his neck are good. The patterns aren't as like weird. And the legs are okay too. It, it may seem a bit weird. Well, I, I still need to change the sh I probably should, well, nah, it'll, it'll do all right. It's all right. Yep. Next up, we, and last but not least, we got Medactyl for this one, for this line. We got, let's see, we got this. The garden Pokemon. They guard fields and meadows, attacking anything that might damage the environment. Their wings turn a bright pink when they are healthy and return to their green color when they're sick. So yeah. Medactyl is really, really, really good. I really like how this turned out. Like the pink and yellow, the greens and everything. Everything just turned out really, really well for this. And I'm really happy about it. Especially compared to this trash just uh just oh my uh you can't even really see it because it's so small like medactyl is just mm, this is just bad because it was pretty much just a bigger version of tarot well dactyl it was pretty, yeah pretty much just a bigger version of dactyl nothing really special changed his legs got longer and it's and it's the markings left and got replaced by underbelly. Oh, and the the wings turned yellow. Other than that, not much changed. It it was just, it, no, it's just it's just bad. And then now we have this version of 2017 Medactyl, which isn't bad, but isn't that great. It's good. It's good, but not great. So yeah, I really like. So yeah, compare it to comparing them. <clears throat> so yeah, comparing them, the new one, the new one is ten times better, because just everything just flows much better. Like the yellow leaves are now are a part of the wings and everything now. It has accents in the wings to complement the pink. They run along the tail, and it still works because the yellow leaves are around the back. He has it around the muzzle and the eye. The pink, the pink on the leaves work. I transferred the pink from the hands and feet and the head to the wings, which worked a lot better. The claw, I like, I really like how I did the claws here and on the and on the feet because these were just kind of it just felt like cop outs. And the leaves on his arms are no longer there. I just really, 
this I just really like the, when I do my revamps because it just makes me feel a lot better about my designs because looking back at them, they just make me feel like, oh my God, what the hell was I doing? Because like this design is okay, but this one is a lot better and I'm happier with this. Yeah. I'm just really glad. Yep. Oh yeah, they're, they're all based on pterodactyls, of course. Yeah, like Terra of Dactyl. Terra of Dactyl, Medactyl. Yeah, y'all you, probably got that by now. All right, we're gonna go Fleeta, the speedy Pokemon. There is based on a cheetah, of course. These Pokemon race against each other to strengthen their limbs. They are really quick to turn. They are really quick to run from trainers. They're speed boost and run away. Yep, yep, yep. All right, just fleeing cheetah makes sense. Now, there's not much I can say about it. Hold on. Well, aside from the fact that, like, this is a revamp. This is a good, this is a good revamp from how it originally looked. But I still need to redo it. I need to redo it again, just to like probably just to like fix some fix some stuff, like fix the shading and like how some of the leg the legs and stuff and all that. Because the original one was kind of I think if I remember correctly, it was just like a generic cat. Oh well, the original one is not even here. Oh well, okay, can't even show. All right, we're gonna move on to Speeda, which I really like because I think I updated. I think I updated this one already. Yep, I updated this one already. I definitely updated this one already. I really like how it came out because it just has more character to it. I just feel like it does. The longer body, the tail is better like that. The markings on the, around his face and on his body, the fur, I just like it. I just like it. And the original one was, the original one was re relatively the same. He just had, hold on, C comparing the two. <clears throat> Let's see, comparing the two, like, like this speeder. Like the legs were, the legs looked weird. The tail was curly for no reason. The the fur is too puffed out, and around the back of his neck was just weird. The paws were too weird, and the face just looked the face just looked too out compared compared to how it should look in my opinion. And the ears were fixed too. I just really like I just really like the new one better and the in it. It actually has actually has more mark markings. Like the new one actually has more markings than this, which is just what. So yeah, I really like it. Going to redoing Fleet at some point, but it may be a while. One of the fastest Pokemon ever. One was once recorded running down 175 miles per hour. Its strong leg muscles allow it to run for hours on end without stopping. Speed boosts run away. The abilities flipped. Yep. Now, and yes, it is not an electric type. I already know, I know a lot of people make their cheetahs electric type because speed and everything. And I may have an electric cheetah at some point down the line again. I don't know. Or I may do a regional variant. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't, I decided not to because like, it, 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 people, people were already doing a lot of electric cheetahs and stuff like that. I just wanted mine to be normal. It doesn't really matter that much. All right. Next up, we have Bubble uh, Another another successful revamp for me. I really I really like how this line turned out too. But hold on, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's get you out there. All right, all right. So let's go. Bubble is the bubble cow Pokemon. is based off of a Carabao, I think. Is that right? Yeah, Carabao and a Bubble Wand. Oh, y'all yeah, probably don't even know what Carabao is. So let's 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 do some research. There we go. It's pretty much like a bull. It's pretty much like a water, a water buffalo, a swamp water buffalo. You got the baby and the the mom or daddy or whatever. But yeah, Bubble is a Carabao. And let's see, they are able to create bubbles thanks to a soapy secretion produced by their tails. 
It tries very hard to be menacing and territorial, blasting bubbles at those who come too close, but its cute appearance makes it hard to be taken seriously. So yeah, this guy tries to be intimidating. Yeah, this 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 little baby boy or girl tries to be intimidating so damn bad, and yet it can't. It, who's who's gonna take it seriously when it's when it's out here blowing bubbles with its tail? And this and these are its original. These are how how it looked originally, and as you can see, <clears throat> it looks a lot better because it's no longer plain. It, they just the original one just like generic generic buffalo shape, but now it looks like this and it looks cute. It looks ha it has more character to it. It looks happy instead of just being like this stone face. So yeah, yeah I'm really I'm really happy with this. And next up, let's go to its evolution, Buffalo, the waiting Pokemon. Now, Buffalo is cool. Buffalo's cool too. It, well, I'll, I'll get to it. Hold on. <clears throat> thought, to have, thought to have gone extinct, more were found living in the, around the marsh over 500 years ago. Quick tempered, they would charge at anything, anywhere. It, wow. <sighs> Quick temper, it would charge at anyone and anything that approaches it, blasting jets of water from its horns. I put any, anyone. My God. All right. But yeah, Buffalo is really cool. I really like how it came out. It's still a, it's still a Carabao, of course. And it's all, but it also has, it's also a reminiscent of a Longhorn Bison now. They're extinct, but yeah, you can tell, like, you can just look at it and see. Long, it's the longhorn bison too, but yeah, buffalo is yeah. Ugh, oh, I kill. Man, looking at, look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Like, what is this? Like the color, like didn't didn't even color the tail, the inside of the tail. Didn't color the horn, the inside of the horns or anything like that. Gave it, gave it fins, gave it more fins as if it's gonna do anything with that. The, the, this leg is bending weird. Got a star on its face. Nothing else on its body. <sighs> Ugh. The face looks, the face looks just wrong. Got the star on its head again. At least, at least the color, at least it's colored now. At least this stuff is colored now. Got got bubbles on the end of its fur here for some reason. Got random bubbles around its limbs and stuff. Like at least the hooves are like the hooves are okay, I guess. But ugh, like compare, mm, yeah, yeah. The the new buffalo is ten times better again. It's actually got more marks on it. Like the the as long as there's something there, I don't really care. The marks are marks. The hoo the hooves looks better. And I just like the face. Like compared to this, this face is a lot more menacing and fun and cool. And the horns aren't just giving off a bubble. It has it has different jet. It has different uh, sections where stuff where water or bubbles can come out. So I'm really happy with. So I'm really happier with this than this. All right. All right, I think I think that's gonna that's gonna be the end of this video, this episode. Our journey through Kilo is still going pretty well, I guess. It, dep it depends on it depends on how you guys feel about it, but I feel like we're I think we're I feel like we're making good progress. Uh, next up, we're going to number three hundred Stigilil. So be sure to be sure to come back later. <clears throat> so be sure to join back in later on. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Dark and Wendy out.